Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Russian Fishing 4. And I am here at, I, I just kind of call it the point. I'm not sure what the location exactly is, but it's right at the head of the Oxbow Lake. If you look at the map, I don't know if you can see my mouse, but if you look up the top where the Oxbow Lake is, there's like a peninsula that comes out into the river. I'm right at that very point. Now, I fished here in the last episode some, and I started messing around a little bit here because uh, Delacava, Kachi, had told me that this is an awesome place to fish for, well, burbot and a number of things, but I had discovered when I was fishing here a lot of different species are around here, especially if you're bottom fishing. And the last time I fished, I managed to catch one I'd never seen before called a nace. Not only did I get that, I ended up getting the weekly record of that thing. And he was a lot of XP, which was pretty cool. So, since this is getting to be evening, this is a good spot to, to spin cast, too. But what I've been fishing with primarily in the daytime has been either uh, pearl barley or these wheat seeds. And just kind of like right over in this area, not too far out. Didn't have to be far out at all. Just kind of like right there. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and take the retrieval speed up because I like to get it in a little bit faster than some of these critters allow you to do so. But basically, I set these out during the daytime. And I will tell you honestly, on a cloudy day, it seems to work even better. But it works pretty good on sunny days, too. Now this time I have pearl barley in there, and I'm, I'm a little too close to the shore, so I'm going to bring it in a little bit deeper. Then I'm going to go ahead again and change my retrieval speed. 30 seems like a good roundabout speed. And then I'm going to go ahead and change this to 22. And we'll get it jingling. And hopefully we'll get some activity here. Now I'm going to pull out my heavy rod here. And I've got my Xander lure on here. My Xander number 2. This is a uh, lure that was given to me, gifted to me. And it is apparently handmade. And it's a nice, nice lure for catching... Well, it's supposed to be for Xander, to be perfectly honest. I've only caught one Xander off of it. I catch a lot of perch off of it. And really just about anything. I've caught pike off of it. I've caught uh, roach and eyed. So it's kind of a nice all-around lure. But we're going to let that go to the bottom there. Let's see. I'm going to take my retrieval speed up to 30 as well. And I'm going to do short bursts this time. Sometimes I do it slow retrieval. Other times I do short bursts. Seems like at this time of night the short bursts work a little bit better. I just kind of do it like that. Slowly ease it in. And it looks like something got away. <laughs> Damn it. It says Hawkeye. Fish got away. Dang on it. But just kind of like a half turn every other second. Sometimes, a lot of times, I'll get, I'll be sitting there waiting, and then that's when it'll bite. Pick it up off the bottom. But we're getting close to night here, and. Night's going to change everything. Because we're probably going to switch baits on those bottom feeders. But you can do the spin casting probably about, till about 2300 hours. After that, they can tend to slow down a little bit. Sometimes I like to do a little pull like that because that sometimes changes things a little bit. Yep, see? See what I'm talking about? Ooh. This 
This is a decent fish, guys. I've definitely got something's attention. Come in here, you. Come in here, you little pain in my butt. Got him hooked. I've had a number of them do this to me and then get off the stupid hook. Come on. I'm thinking he might be a pike, but I'm not sure. Just by the fact that he's fighting so hard. Come on. You gotta be kidding me. Seriously? <laughs> That's the way things go. Come on, fish. I got another one to take care of here. I'll put a little more friction on the, br on the, crease the drag a little bit. Maybe I can get this fish in a little quicker. Okay, he's, He's coming. Not very quick. But he is coming. I see him now. I think I see him. swimming towards me now. Here he comes. Here he comes. What do we got here, guys? Ooh, nice little catfish. Caught him off that lure. That is so strange. Huh. Honestly, I don't think I've caught one off of a lure before. Hmm. Well, go figure. Let me go check these rods. It didn't say the fish got away. So it's a good chance they may still be on there. Let me see here. I need to check the baits anyway. Nah, I think I lost him. Daggone it. Well... I did get the fish I was after, so I didn't lose anything. Sort of. <laughs> yeah, let me go ahead and pick this one up here. Oh, 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 guys, he's still here. He is still here. He didn't go away anywhere. Let's see what we got here. He's not monstrous, but he is still here. I guess he just wore himself out. Come on. And it's a decent eyed. Nice. 174. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Caught him off the wheat. That was pretty cool. Alright, I think we're going to change our baits here, guys. Let me see here. Let's uh, check and see what we got here. We've got... Uh, I'm almost out of pieces of fish. It's not good. We got plenty of diced cheese, plenty of potatoes. Yeah, you're not going to see a whole lot of carp over on this side. I have not caught one single carp, not even a gibble carp. But I guess they don't like the flowing water, which is pretty much par for the course, I guess. But we're going to toss out this fish not too far because the hole that's in this river is right about there and we want to go for catfish or burbot if we can. Let me step back a little bit. Yeah, the burbot are right here. Get my Asteria out. We'll change and put the last piece of fish we have on there. 
sure how I'm going to be able to get more of those because they cost gold. And I don't have a fillet knife, and I think that's the only other way you can get them. I'm sure my bait making skills are not high enough either. Oh well. The fish have been gifted to me by Kachi, and I went through it a lot quicker than I thought I would. That's alright, I guess. There's not much I can do about it. I'm gonna have to either invest or something. Alright, we're gonna go to our float rod here. It's not a whole lot of spin casting action at this time of night. But, let's see, what do we got on this first rod here? We have got. Okay, that'll work. That's fine. I'll go with the maggots. Now, if you're going to fish float fishing in this location, you really have to be just off the shore. I haven't caught much of anything out further. So usually what I do is I step back a little bit and just barely toss it out there. And it's going to float down. In fact, even closer is probably better, but we'll just keep an eye on it and keep an ear out for the other things. Sometimes I might even... Actually, what I'm going to do here is set this down for the moment. Because I need to eat something. I'm getting hungry. Let's see. Uh, what have I got? I've got sausages. Yeah, I think I'll eat some sausages. Uh, do you see the bobber? I don't see the bobber. Oh, there it is. Okay. I thought it disappeared. Nah, it's okay. Anyway, I'm going to, now that I've eaten a little something, I'm going to go into my crafting and make some bread balls because, honestly, I have a bunch of bread sitting around. Let's see. Still can't make bread porridge yet. Alright, see, so basically what you do is you always want to save that last piece of bread. That way you can make more bread balls for bait. That gets up your bait crafting skills. I got one more here that's like that. We're not wasting anything. Now this one I still got some can still take some bites out of it, so we're good on that. Yeah, if you can increase your skills, this is a good time to do it at night when things are a little bit quieter. I'm gonna bring this in just a little bit because honestly, like I said, it seems to do better just offshore. Can walk over here and watch it. I mean, that's nothing wrong with that. All right, guys, we've got some jingling going on. Now we gotta figure out which one it is. Right here, and it is really pulling on it. Oh, I'm getting, an, getting another one. What have I got here, guys? Yes! Nice burbot. And I've got a... I'm out of bait. Dang on it. And another burbot. And I'm out of bait. <laughs> Well, both of them, we're going to have to figure out what we can use for bait. Let's see, I don't have any night crawlers, so why don't we try red worms? We'll see if those do all right. I believe the night, the burbot like night crawlers a little bit better though. We may not get anything this time, but we'll... We'll at least give it a shot. I 
might. I did red worms. Maybe I could do something different. I don't know. We could try the dice cheese. I can't remember what Lady of Gangs says goes for the dice cheese. I don't like the way that cast it. I want a little bit out. Get out a little bit further than that. I don't think it was the burbot though. Uh, we'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky. Nothing seems to be going after this. Maybe we should try over here for a little bit. We should be able to hear our dingling going on. Looks like we got a teeny bit of a current here, but not too much of one. Yeah, I like this area because you can fish over here where there's not a lot of current, and then you can try fishing for catfish, or not catfish, but carp right here. And possibly chubs. Alright, let's just see what it is. This is off a of red worm. It is a nice eyed. Very nice eyed. Nice eyed. Nice eyed. <laughs> well, it's getting to be morning, so we can switch our baits anyway. I'm going to put this back to wheat seeds. We'll put that back down where it's supposed to be and get that back to going. Nothing seemed to go for the cheese, did it? Yeah, let's put uh, let's put our pearl barley on there. Sun is out, and we are ready to do some more morning fishing. And that means getting our spin caster out. Yeah, I was just fishing over here and there's nothing biting off of this. Not a thing. Just kind of. Kind of. Kind of boring. But early in the morning, I like to fish with my heavy casting express fishing rod here. My favorite lure for the morning time is this red hypnotic that I have right here. This is honestly God, probably my favorite lure of all time. And I can really lay into a lot of different species with this. Especially the perch. They absolutely love it. But I like to cast it right over there. And just again do the short bursts. Just like I did earlier. Sounds like we got a very happy rooster. Why not? I think I'm gonna take my retrieval speed down and we're gonna do slow retrieval this time. Maybe we can interest a Xander or two. like with them I tend to do better with the slow slow retrieve <laughs> come on Ooh, he is a fighting he is a fighting little guy come on come on in here you little pain in the butt come on ah he's a little pike Little bitty pike. Not even a kilogram. Yeah, 
That was pretty nice. I won't get a lot for him, but... Yeah, I just kind of do this for about five seconds and I let it go. Just like that. Ah, keep getting hungry. As long as my hunger and my comfort stay good, I'm fine. I wish we could get one really good size one because I'm almost to level 11 here and I'd like to get there if I can. And maybe that was the bell. I think it's this one here. Yep. Ah, it's not big, whatever it is, but we'll bring it in anyway. Oh, it's another nace. Cool. Yeah, this is only the second one of these I've caught. Now, he's no award winner, but that's an interesting looking fish. And he looks like a... Like a bullet or something. <laughs> They like these wheat seeds. Oh, that's way too far. That's not going to catch anything. There we go. Let's bring it a little bit further in. And we'll put that down. Yeah, that's not an award winner or super fish, but I like getting the different species. Dang on. That was a surprise. Oh, nice perch. Nice perch. Yeah, like I said, they really like this lure. I was just kind of surprised because it was almost a shore. Zyfrit 22117 weekly record asp 5.039 kilograms nice job man nice job I wish I caught him <laughs> it's definitely a trophy but that's some XP Well, since I've caught a Xander. I'm not sure why. It seems like I never catch him over here, though. If I'm going to catch him, I catch him over on the other side. Whoa! That makes twice that's happened. And it's another little pike. Good God. What is the deal with these little pike? They seem to be, like, right along here. Just off the... this time. Alright, let me see which direction should I throw. Let's try over the that side a little bit. So sure we're going to make it to level 10 this round, guys, but I have had a lot of fun. I think after I do this last one, I think we're going to head over and see what kind of cash we got for these guys. And call this an episode. But yeah, this spot right here is really good, and I can...
spend hours just fishing here. But I definitely have my places to fish that I like. And for sunny weather, this is it for me. If it's cloudy, I like to go over to the Oxbow Lake and fish for carp. Or over there by the uh, uh, bridge. Either one, both are good places for carp. Yeah, this is probably getting a little long here, guys. Go ahead and pick these up. This truth be known, I might be going over there to um, another location I haven't been for a little bit. Fish there for a little while just because I've been here like three straight days. Just itching to do something a little different. But yeah, right here, guys. Not right here, actually. Over here. Right here is a real good place for carp. If you fish just around those lily pads, I have pulled in some pretty decent sized carp. And I know you know about over here by the bridge because I fished off there quite a few times. I think I got the biggest carp I've pulled out of here from there. Truth be known, I've been contemplating coming over here, doing a little carp fishing too, because I honestly haven't fished over here. I don't know why, I just never think about it. Alright, let me see if the cafe has anything to offer. Let's see, what do they got going here? We got zebra mussels. Man, I wish I could get a decent sized zebra mussel. Silver bream, white bream, eyed. big enough it has to be within a certain weight well you can either bring in a small or a regular size zebra mussel and get some pretty decent 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 cash I don't have any though damn I caught one yesterday and they didn't have it in the cafe all right let's see what we got we got this is 1.5, 1.62, this burbot's 3.66. Eh, nothing amazingly spectacular. Catfish wasn't too bad either. Looks like I got 10 silver coins, so that gets me up over 55 silver. I'm just working, working it guys, just working it. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. Always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.